Hey, what's up, y'all? It's TK here with my first anime review on this channel. Now, the anime is a mystery drama supernatural. That's the drama's word. But anyway, the anime is called A Race. That's the English title for it, and the Japanese title is Baku Machi or Baku Dark K something. It's a long title, but A Race. Just look up A Race if you want to find the anime itself and check it out. So, Basically, the story is about this character, this guy, he, he is a manga artist, make, he makes manga and stuff, you know, and um, he's pretty lonely, he had a pretty traumatizing childhood, I guess, um, one of his classmates was murdered, and along as other kids in that town, um, he felt like he's missing something, and like he really hasn't kept in touch with any of his old childhood friends, so he's pretty much a loner, you know. He's just doing the manga stuff. He's feeling like he really hasn't changed much since then, and um, he still is not over the the murders of the classmate and the other kids in that town. And things happen, and his mother ends up getting killed by that same killer from all the way back. And uh, um, he has a thing. Well, it's a thing that happens. He calls it the revival. He basically sees about three to five minutes into the future and he basically always tries to stop anything bad from happening with that. And um, his mother pretty much had a good hint on who the killer was and that's why she was murdered. And she was murdered at his apartment by the way. And that is kind of a spoiler but that's on the first episode so y'all gonna see this on the first episode. So anyway he's accused of his mother's murderer so he's escaping the scene. Police are chasing him and everything, and the revival happens. The revival sends him all the way back into his childhood. He still has his adult mind, but he's in his he's in his child body, and he's basically trying to prevent the the classmate from being killed and the other people that was killed back then, and also find out the identity of the murderer. And um, yeah. Well, I ain't gonna say anything else. Cause I'm gonna be spoiling stuff, but. Overall, I think the thing was the real. I think this anime was real written, written well told. Um, I was looking at this anime like I started watching it like a week and a half ago, so I'm glad I didn't start watching it when the thing first started because I would have been, I've been going crazy trying to wait for the episodes to come out. Because when I first started watching it, I was hooked on it. I didn't want to stop watching the anime. I wanted to keep watching all the way to the end, but I had to stop. I was like, hey, like nine episodes is out when I first started watching it, so I ain't had to wait too long to get the rest of the episodes. And I just finished this day, but um, it's total was twelve episodes. Like I said, it's a mystery and um supernaturalish type of anime. It was really, I think it's like I said, I think it's really real wet and real told. The art style is nice. The the um opening music, which y'all should be hearing right now, and the ending theme is good. Um. So that's all I pretty much got to say because I don't want to spoil anything. But the anime is good. I really enjoyed it. And with the rankings, when I rank, when I review stuff, I give it like a grade. I don't actually give it like numbers because I don't like doing numbers. So it's going to be like A, B, U, C or whatnot. It's like that. But overall for the anime, I would give it, I want to give it an A. To be honest, I want to give it an A. I really, really enjoyed the anime. I got emotional on this anime. I ain't going to lie. I do cry on some animes. I ain't even gonna flex with y'all, man. If y'all check out some of my own anime I recommend episodes, like I did a favorite edition. All of them animes that was in the favorite, I think I cried on them. Maybe. Except for one of them, I probably did. But yeah, I do cry on a lot of animes. The good ones, anyways. But the anime was good. I really enjoyed it. I recommend y'all check it out. Like I said, it's called Erased. The last episode came out, I think, yesterday. Or today. But check it out, it's 12 episodes. Like I said, mystery, supernatural, genre. But um, yeah, I was pretty satisfied with the ending, you know. Um, not spoiling thing, but yeah, it was real witting. They had some Dragon Quest um references on there as well, and Final Fantasy, you know. And I'm waiting for that Dragon Quest to come out in 3S, you know. You know, I am a gamer too. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop wasting your time. But y'all don't take it. Tell me what you think about the anime you've seen already. Recommend me some animes if you want me to check it out and give my thoughts on it. Um, check out my other videos, subscribe, and join the squad.
And um, follow me on Twitter, TKU, TKU and Square U, all that good stuff. Social media is in the description, and it's also on my YouTube banner. But until next ten, I mean, until next time, and until my next anime review, I'll talk to you later. Peace. Anime review, I'll talk to you later. Peace.